What up, Nick? How you doing, brother? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? The wind just yeah. kicked up. Yeah. <laughs> well, and now the secret's out, man. Uh, I know where you're at. Um, it's kind of going to segue in what we're going to talk about in. But again, guys, this is the insurance panel where real producers, real talk is kind of what we are. And since uh, Nick is one of those real producers, uh, which carrier trip are you on currently? KSKJ Life. KSKJ uh, Life. Life. I should probably shout out to some of the people who actually watch this show from KSKJ Life. I say hi to Brian and uh, Paul and Stu and April and Tony Jr. and uh, whoever else I don't know that watches the show. Uh, hey, everybody. There are several of you guys. Yeah. Um, so right now, currently, Nick is in St. Kitts. Yep. Is that correct? Give us your view. I want, to see what you're at. I want to see where you're at. Oh, yeah. This is, this is my balcony. Sorry, it's going to get windy. It's going to get windy. But that's... That's so awesome. Yeah. So, so um, uh, I want to talk about vacations for insurance agents because when you're 1099, you don't technically have to tell anybody you're going to go take take a vacation. You can just do it. But I see a lot of new agents. They go make their first ten thousand dollars, and then all of a sudden they take the vacation they haven't had in a long time. Yeah. And they don't put marketing dollars away. They don't think for chargebacks. And all of a sudden they come back two months later with no money, no leads. And they're like, I come to you again for financial support. Um, right. And uh, it's, it's frustrating to me, but, and I'm sure you'll probably agree here. If you want to do a vacation as an insurance agent, just qualify for a couple carrier trips. They're awesome and they're free and you made money by doing it. A lot yeah. of money. No, you usually a significant amount of money. <laughs> you know? um, but um, yeah, no, I mean, it's the nicest one of the nicest things about doing this job um, is that insurance companies give you a lot of perks if you write a lot of business. Yep. Um, and those come in all sorts of flavors, but one of the most common ones is carrier trips. Um, most companies don't 1099 their carrier trips. Sorry if I keep whipping my head away, I'm trying to keep the wind sounds out of the mic. You're good. Um, so you it's a little windy. Um, but uh, most most carriers won't 1099 your trip. Some will, most won't. Um, and it is just like a bonus for you. Uh, and there's a lot of great stuff that comes out of going on a carrier trip. You get to meet other agents who work for other companies that do other things than what you do and sell other types of products and you know meet other agencies and find out about how other things like that go on. But it's also really great like if you've got a spouse who's supporting you at home to be able to meet them and just be like here honey here's a Caribbean vacation for seven days that we don't have to pay a dime out of our own pocket for if we don't want to um you know they buy the airfare they buy the hotel room um I always end up spending money on these trips because there are other things that we want to do sure. uh in addition you know we don't always want to eat at the resort sure uh, sometimes we want to go off and do excursions and things, but uh, we went zip lining today. It was awesome. Awesome. But, um, but it's a, it becomes an, ex even if you start doing stuff, it's a very inexpensive vacation. You spend a thousand dollars out of your own pocket on eating out and going on excursions. That's a thousand dollars for seven days in the Caribbean, including airfare. That's ridiculously cheap. Um, um, and you made, and I think, I don't know, KSKJ, because they're not in my beautiful state of South Carolina, KSKJ, please help me. Um, uh, <laughs> hopefully they're watching. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, um, how much did you have to produce to get that trip with KSKJ? So for the version of the trip that I'm on, which uh, KSKJ tiers their trips. Got it. Um, so they, they actually want lots of agents to qualify. So you can get on to this trip for as little as I would like $45,000 of annual production. Um, you don't get as many days, uh, but you still get a really nice hotel room. Uh, we're at the Marriott down here. It's a really, really nice resort. Um, and, you know, they treat you really well and you get, you know, VIP treatment the whole way. Um, for the version of the trip that I'm on, which has a slightly upgraded room and a little bit of a longer stay, um, you know, I had to write over 70000 um, I ended up writing, I want to say like 78,000 that last year. Um, and then they've got a, yet another tier even above that for people who write over a hundred thousand with them where they like come pick you up in a limo and take you to the airport and give you business class seats. 
wow. uh, a sweet um, uh, Jose Artiaga, who is a former guest of the show, and yeah. John Duggar, who is also a former guest of the show, uh, both qualified for that level of trip. And I've seen their rooms. They're lovely. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and, and so you do. You get a really nice uh, perk, first class treatment. Yeah. Um, and the carriers really want to do this. And KSKJ is not the only carrier that does that, right? You know, Royal Neighbors has a notoriously amazing trip. Notoriously is probably not the right word. But yeah. like an amazing a famously trip. amazing trip. Yeah. Um, family benefit. I went with them uh, on a Danube River cruise last year, uh, which was also similarly uh, fairly awesome. And um, there's just all sorts of things like that. So let me ask you this. You said you did 78,000. Tell me, Nick, did you just write just enough to hit the trip or is it just kind of work out that way? Like I know some no. people, like some agents, like uh, they write just enough to make it and then they stop writing for that year. Or do you just, you, like, you know how your business is going to flow. So you, it kind of just works out that way. It kind of just works out that way. You know, I set my pace for the beginning of the year and I write what I write. Sure. Um, it just so happens that I have a couple of companies that I favor, but a lot of this is I try not to scatter my business around mm -hmm. uh, 20 different companies. Um, I picked, a, I picked, you know, two or three companies that work very well for me in most situations. Uh, so that before I walk into anybody's house, I know I'm probably going to be writing one of three different carriers. And then I worry about my production goals and my presentation and activity goals. Um, Shout out to our other video. Let's pick a carrier lineup. You can watch that. Yeah, before. right. And then I don't think too much about what the trip is because I, I frankly, I just. You're going to hit it. it. You're going to yeah. hit it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm already. Um, it's I, their KSKJ's ship next year is to Curacao, uh, which is part of the ABC Islands, Aruba, Curacao. And I don't remember. Aruba is awesome. For. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we went there with we went there with uh, KSKJ last year. We went to Aruba. okay, um, and so I'm already more than halfway to qualify for the uh, uh, Curacao trip um, for the forty four thousand dollar level. I'm probably going to qualify it higher than that. I write about seventy five thousand dollars a year with KSKJ every year. I'm not really planning on changing any of my stuff. Um, you know, I'm, I do what I do. Sure. Uh, but it's and just, like I said, it's, if you're an insurance agent and you're watching this and you're kind of new, I know sometimes we get a lot of people that are brand new with us, just go write business for a year, just yeah. wait. And then the next year you will have two, three, I think Nick sometimes went on like five vacations last year that were almost dang all near paid for yeah. just based on your, your work ethic. Yeah, no. And it's, it's amazing. And like my wife and I were talking about that on the way to this trip up here honestly like our first carrier trip as an independent agent because i went on a couple yeah um, when i was captain um but our first carrier trip as an independent agent was almost exactly six years ago um and god we needed that vacation so bad that one <laughs> came around yeah but but it, she was saying you know that's really what sold her on yep. the idea that this was viable yeah so she was like oh my God, we're here in Cancun and this is amazing. And it's like a luxury experience. Um, and it's something that we can just do. It's just part of our life. So. Yeah, it's just part of, part of the gig now. Yeah. You actually have to plan the three hundred and fifteen dollars to $350,000 that you're going to write around being away. You yes. write it in 11 months, not in 12 Right, because I take about a month off for vacation every year. Yeah, um, not all at once, but yeah, it's it's just it's just part of it. Um, That's so awesome. Yeah, it's pretty good. Love it, dude. Um, anything else you need to touch on? And we have a couple other guests coming up. Um, I, can't, I can't hit on everybody, but uh, we have a door knocking one coming up. Um, yeah. Somebody who just does knows that just a straight cold door knock. No, like pretty much no leads, just walking up to the door and door knocking and, and crushes on premium. Crushes it. It's ridiculous what this guy does. Um, he's a, he's a former combined guy also. And like, yeah, so y'all hit it off. Yeah. Yeah. No, but he, I mean, and he's still working that system and God, more power to him. Like it is. It's a tough gig. 
I couldn't do it. It is, but like, it is mind blowing what he does. So that's, that's going to be really exciting to talk about. Yeah. Um, what else do we have in the pipeline? I think we've got a, a guy who buys leads and does door knocks instead of appointment setting. We're going to do a, a port, appointment setting versus door knocking part two, because I believe we have got coming up. Yep. Yep. That's going to be a good one. And hopefully we got a couple big marketers uh, that we're bringing here. Cause we also want to do part of the YouTube channel is we're, real talk, real producers, but there's also big marketing companies. Um, and so, and hopefully maybe some carriers uh, reps want to reach out and do a YouTube video. So that would be super sweet. Absolutely. Uh, so if you're, that. if you're watching and you want to, you can e reach out to us at uh, the insurance panel at gmail.com. Um, and as always, if any of you guys have questions, the insurance panel at gmail.com, I promise you we read them every, we get so pumped up when we get an email uh we're just like we can't wait to do next week. Yeah. yeah i can't this is amazing so um definitely reach out and as always guys like comment subscribe and like post your questions down below it helps us so much you don't know how much it helps the youtube gathering them like we study it we still don't know what it means but we know that if you comment it helps that's the one it, thing we do now it's ridiculous how much more it helps yeah yeah so so you guys are awesome nick you're awesome I don't, i'm gonna let you get back to st kitts and enjoy thank you uh, and with all that, enjoy your wife and just go enjoy your vacation, man. And you're, you're back in the saddle on Monday. You got your leads all primed up and ready yeah, to go, right? All ready to go. Yeah. So back, back to the to grind, it. brother. All right, man. Well, I appreciate I'll you. Talk, talk to you soon, man.